Hey there, welcome back guys. All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a video on a CLI dump. So you have some configurations from Betaflight that were shared with you, or maybe you wanna save your existing configuration that you have in your Pavo Pico or new drone, whether it be the Pavo or the um, GEP RC, whichever one it is, this video is gonna show you how to push okay the configuration to the drone or maybe take back the configuration so that you can experiment with it anyway without any further ado let's get started so you want to have your drone okay so in my case i will get my drone and it doesn't matter which drone you have so in this case i'm going to be using the pavo uh, pico version 2 and you want to make sure that your usb connector whatever you're using is connected to your computer and aside from being connected to your computer you want to just connect it to your drone whichever way you connect it in my case it's going to be like this and you'll know it's connected if it lights up and starts flashing okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your um beta flight whichever version it is and then for me it's already connected and as you can see i am going to go into the cli see that and then you're going to go down to the bottom and type dump all okay it's going to take out all the configurations and dump it all when it's done you'll see it just stopped and it'll ask you if you want to save so you're going to scroll your mouse over to save to file okay and then i'm going to call this uh i'll actually call it the same one that's on the desktop and we'll just replace it um I call this see Pavel 20 with GPS okay and then we'll click save of course I'll replace it since it's already there um so now you, this is how you save the current configurations you love you're like oh my god I love these settings on the drone I want to keep them and that's how you do that so let's say you start changing things or maybe you went to my uh, github repository and you want to uh, push it to the drone right so let's show you how to do that so basically I'm going to quit, not quit beta flight, but I'm going to disconnect. Okay, and then connect it again. So now once I'm connected, um, you download the file, wherever your file is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it after you connect. See, I'm connected. So I'm gonna go into the CLI right there. And then from there, I'm gonna open up that file. Okay, and then see all that text in there, just put your cursor in there, command all, copy it. Control C. If you're not sure what key cells are, just go here. Um, so in this case, I put the cursor in, right? And then I'm going to edit, and then I'll go to select all, and then edit again, and then just copy, and then close it, and then put your cursor down on the bottom, right over there, like you see, right? And then Command V, paste it in. You'll see, you'll know it's pasted in if you see the hashtag. Press Enter. And now all these settings that you just downloaded are going to be pushed to the drone, okay? And then we'll, we'll test and see if it works. And this will work with any drone, provided that you know, you're using the right software and are pushing the correct firmware um, to the drone. So for example, if this was being pushed to the GEP RC version 20, that's a no. But this is the correct one, so you want to make sure Pavel 20 is going to Pavel 20 and not Pavel Pico version 1, if that makes any sense. So while that's doing that, working its magic, um, we will slowly and surely get there. Uh, once, you know, it works. And that's it. It should automatically uh, reboot and you start over again. Now you're like, oh, this is great. I can't wait to test that configuration. As you saw, this was all done in real time. So we're going to plug this out. Okay, and then um, maybe, just maybe, we'll do it here at the table. Get a battery, a fresh battery, of course, and um, plug it in. Hmm. For a second, I thought the battery was dead, but nope, it's not. And then you're going to um, put the battery in. Once the battery's in, make sure it's level. That's another tricky thing to work on do that it's pretty level then you get your remote control right and um, turn it on 
make sure it's off otherwise you're going to get a bad rx it'll just load up and thinking that um there's an error so you oh so there we go so now let's see if it arms up uh nothing in the way i don't think mm -hmm. oh probably something there there we go let it go up a little bit me all the dust went flying but we know it works and that's basically how you do a CLI dump and save anyway I hope this video helped you in better understanding how to do a CLI dump and save for your FPV drone if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time